What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? I'm from the couch. Actually, I should do this downstairs. It might be a little bit brighter. But I gotta remain in earshot of the baby because this baby might be awake. Um, you know, Jay-Z and Beyonce, they released uh, a new album. Everything is Love. Um, it's downloading as we speak. <laughs> I will listen to it. I will review it. I'm trying to be unbiased here. You know, Hov is in my top five because he's not one or two or three, four. <laughs> but someone's top five is still high regard. So um, I do respect him as an artist. I do have, you know, you know, Blueprint's favorite out. Well, it was one of my, you know, it's, a blue, it's between a Blueprint and a Black album. Um, some contentious thing about uh, Hov. I, I don't hold reasonable doubt as highly as he talks about it. I think he kind of talked that up more in his career. Um, but, you know, Can I Live is on his on that record. And to, to this day, it's still the best Jay-Z song I've ever made. Anyway, the point I'm making this video, you know, there's this, there's this um, Jay-Z versus Nas dynamic in, in hip-hop. And it's, it's peculiar, you know, um... Like all day, I've, I've I've been seeing people's posts on Instagram and stuff like that. Like they're like, oh, you know, they were shitting on Nas album. All oh, Jay Z's came out. Oh man, it's it's he's showing how it's done. There's a meme of Jay Z sitting, and they got uh, Drake and and, and uh, Nas on his lap like he's their father. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on here? Um, you know it. As a music listener, it shouldn't be that serious. I know in hip hop, it's a little difference because there's this competitive aspect to it, you know, with battling and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I think we should be able to enjoy both. This, and this is, and this is telling, you know, the Jay Z Nas dynamic is telling about Black America because it really shows about Black America. It only, it almost shows how you know there's this group think in Black America. You know, what I mean, there's just there's a clear divides about things. You know, and if you do one thing, you're cool. You do one thing, you're not. You know, it's like almost with the, um, you know, the the voting, how we vote, Democratic and Republican. Now, it's not as lopsided. You know, what I mean, there, it's not as lopsided, but there's a clear divide between Nas and Jay Z. You know what I mean? And even though I think Nas is a better artist, but I'm, I have no, I I'm I'm just being. Uh, rational, I think there's way more, uh, I don't I, I, there's probably, there's a lot more Jay-Z fans, but there's a sizable uh, amount of uh, Nas fans that they don't think he's, uh, who's the goat in hip-hop, you know what I mean, it's you know, one of the important topics of our day, I mean, forget that Kim Jong-un, uh, North Korea summit, and everything else, uh, who is the goat, is uh, more important, and we'll see if we ever find out. But um, <laughs> it's not that serious, man. You can like both of them, you know what I mean. You can dislike both of them, but let's let's just enjoy the music. This is why I made this video. Just enjoy the music, you know. And we should be able to just take things from each other. Like I'm just gonna listen to it. I'm gonna uh, keep an open mind. This is what we should do in our personal lives when uh, other people have different opinions that we 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 don't like. We should listen first. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotel. Peace.